Hey guys, it's Oranen, and today they finally released Star Wars Rebels Season 2 Blu-ray or DVD. Um, I'm gonna go right now, head out to Target and get myself a copy. And when I come back, I'll unwrap, unwrap the the boxing, see what's inside, and I'll cut to that shot, and then I'll, I'll do the outro of my thoughts about the season. So let's head on out. <laughs> Hey guys, just got back from Target and just got Star Wars Rebels Season 2 on Blu-ray. I'm happy. So first, that thing that, that astonished me or, or got my attention was that own the complete second season and, and, and includes an exclusive Blu-ray bonus. Which I hope is a ticket to Rogue One. I doubt it. Let's see. Quotes from Amy Ratcliffe from Nerdist. Some of the finest Star Wars storytelling we've seen. Now, I'm gonna just let it be known right now. I have not seen it yet. But, but I have seen the final fight between Ahsoka and Darth Vader slash Anakin. I couldn't resist myself after I... I, people didn't spoil it for me, but people told me that there was going to be an epic fight at the end. And I saw the fight, I kind of got teary, and I won't s spoil what happens, but um, it's an emotional uh, ending. Very emotional. But I uh, can't wait to see how the rest of the the, se uh, the, the, the episodes led up to the, that, um, that uh, epic conclusion, and then to see how it sort of... Uh, eludes or goes on onto what we're gonna be seeing on the next season which you guys could see in my season 3 trailer reaction and uh, let's see let's see what's inside the box alright now I got it out <laughs> so let's open it up <gasps> it says get your rewards now enter your magic code at disneymoviewards.com so I won't show it and hopefully it's something cool. Pick four t Disney movies for one dollar. Choose either on Blu-ray or DVD. Inside Out, Frozen, Big Hero 6, or Cinderella. It'll be probably between Inside Out or Big Hero 6. So, yeah. So it comes in with two discs. One disc having the first through eighth episode. And the second, oh, and, oh wait, that's the third disc, never mind. Let's see. So three discs. Extend corrected. First disc one through eight episodes. Second disc episodes nine through sixteen. Damn. And then third disc with the incredible Darth Vader in it. With episodes seventeen through twenty-two. Damn. Twenty-two hours of awesomeness. And each having their own bonus features, which is awesome. So that's for the unwrapping, and I'll cut to you guys, and I'll be right back, right after I finish watching all the episodes right now. Hey guys, Oranen, and uh, I just finally finished uh, Star Wars Rebels Season 2. I bench watched it for about a good 24 to 26 hours. I, I, I finished half of it um, from one day, and the other half today. Uh, uh, wow, 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 wow. Let's just say this, because I won't spoil it. Because I know there's people that haven't seen it and are probably barely or are gonna get the Blu ray or DVD. Prefer, you know, your choice of preference. But, um, in my own opinion, Season 2 of Rebels is way better than Season 1. You know what? I'll take that back. It's better. I'm not gonna say way, way better because Season 1 is great just as well but season 2 elevates it 
it's sort of similar to what Empire did to A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back, sort of similar. Um, to leave it out of how I felt about it, that it answered questions and yet left a lot to be asked. Um, standout characters for me were uh, Ahsoka and Hera, in my opinion. Everyone's great. Sabine, Zeb, Ezra, Kanan, Chopper, uh, even Agent Callus. I think that's his name. Uh, Lord Vader, Darth Vader himself was great. Darth Maul, for those who haven't known. Come on, the, the season's been out for almost a year, so he's he's great as well. The new Inquisitors were, were interesting as well. And um, <clears throat> for me, the reason why I chose Hera and Ahsoka is because uh, just... Well, first off with Hera, what this, this show did is it set... It set characters in place. We know how they are. But at the same time, the the, the season questions how wh where, where are the characters going to be. We established that they're a family, but there's still some commotion. There's still some 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 conflicts. And I don't mean just like you know who's better than who. Not just internal conflicts. Of should they are they willing to stand here for a while or whatnot. And the reason why I chose Sarah is because she's established herself that she believes in the cause of the rebellion, which they haven't mentioned it as the rebel rebellion rebel alliance, but in the the cause of the rebellion. They um I won't spoil it because I won't spoil it, but they they do something cool with her, and um, she becomes an integral part in the ghost slash phantom crew connection with the, the rebels, the actual rebellion. She's the, 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 the link between both both um, both parties that share a common belief or interest. So, that's why I chose her. And the reason why I chose Ahsoka is because I know people, I'm probably going to get uh, crucified by saying this, but uh, I have not seen The Clone Wars. I have not seen it. Uh, I never got drawn into it. I saw the film when it first came out, the, the Star Wars, The Clone Wars film didn't dig it but the only reason why I'm daring and I'll probably go back and watch it I deserve it. I'm a Star Wars I'm, I, I owe it to myself I'm a Star Wars fan it's because of Ahsoka now it's weird how I'm I relate to her a lot and yet I don't know her full history I know she was close with, with um, Anakin I know that for sure but uh, uh I I just think that that even though she, she was in the show, and they took her on and off, I'll say that they took her on and off. She was in the show, she was at the beginning and at the end. She was on and off, and with the time she was on screen, perfect. And I'm not gonna spoil each episode or, or you know like this happened and I can't believe. Let's just say this this, this season got emotional. It got a uh, I. I it got intrigued by the characters that I think were gonna um, surpass expectations or my my interest. A lot of them uh, surpassed them. But I'll say this: if you're wondering what's you know what's a good 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 episodes to watch for, I like all of them. I loved all of them, but the three that were like wow, that was great. Was the honorable the honorable honorable ones, the forgotten droid, and Twy of the Apprentice, part. Two. I am not gonna say nothing more of those episodes except those three episodes, those three titles. Perfection. Perfection. But yeah, I love the season. Go buy it. If you haven't yet, go buy it. If you have, just stay, 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 stick with it. All right, just stick with it because if you're like, oh, I have to watch 23 or 25, 20, 20. Uh, around 20 episodes or more it's worth it just 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 bench watch it or, or watch a couple per day but you, you'll love this you'll love the season and I can't wait to see season three um, because 
uh, the the crew is back. Char familiar characters are coming back, and uh, an old classic fan favorite character is joining the fall. And <laughs> if you don't want me to say it, I won't say it. But I have the reaction towards season three trailer that was released during Star Wars, Star Wars Celebration that you could watch. <sighs> you know, if you guys know what what character I'm talking about. Wait to see what he what he does. But yeah, but that uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Go watch the show. If you guys like the review, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.